woman in there to look good everything in your sight. Hi, is your side. My name is Rema. You are welcome to Opa Life Therapy. I'm a psychologist, a minister, and an entrepreneur. It's nice to be here again, and it's nice to discuss another new series with us. So today we are going to be talking about introduction to defining relationship. You know, it's it's wonderful how we cannot do without relationship. Relationship has been part and parcel of everybody's life, one way or the other. You have someone you love, you have someone that loves you, you have someone that is part of you and they just complete you one way or the other. And that's the way life is. Life is created to bond. You bond with one another. So now you don't just meet one of the one of the things I feel we do is that when we meet people and then we get attracted to them because we feel that there are some common values, goals and interests which we share together in them. And that can actually develop an emotional part of us which is our oxytocin that helps us to want to build a bond with people. Now, when that part of us begins to increase, that bond that we tend to build with that person that we get attracted to increase. And in the long run, when they do some things, we tend to be like, I don't expect this from you. you no, know, because they, there is a part of us that they share, doesn't mean that they don't have a part of their own as humans. So we shouldn't judge people based on the fact that there is a part of them that we don't share and there is a part of us that they share in common with us. So you define your relationship majorly by the ideology which you share with people in common. You know, you don't just get attracted with people. There must have been something you see in them that makes you feel like, wow, I like this person and I think I want to roll with this person. Why? Because you share so many things in common. The same reasoning the same ideology you think the same way you talk the same way so when you eventually find somebody that doesn't do th that same thing there are times you tend to feel like no this person does not think the way i think i think i cannot work with this person i think i cannot relate with this person but many at times when you feel you cannot work with somebody when you feel you cannot relate with somebody it is not a reason to cut the person out of your life you just need to set priorities with your relationship you just need to put people in the place and position in which they belong in your life you know the problem is most times when we create relationship we create it with the intention that we want to bond with everybody you want everybody to be your friend you want everybody to be your family yes that is true everybody's your family everybody's your friends but depending on the ideology of part of you that they have let me remind you that when you attract people, you don't just attract them based on the fact that they are themselves. You attract them because there is a part of you that belongs to them. You attract you. You don't attract anything aside you. So there is a part of you that belongs to people's life that make you attract them and say, fine, I like you. Be my friend. Let's relate together. So when they don't have that part of you, that another part of you that you're actually looking for, you shouldn't blame them. Neither should you blame yourself for it. Instead, you should put them according to the position in which each and everybody belongs in your life. For example, you have someone in your family and the person talks and fine. When you talk, you tend to talk about intelligent things. But on the other side, the person does not seem to be a giving type to you now. And you, you are a giving type. It doesn't mean you should cut the person short or cut the person out of your life. The least you can do is put that person in the position where you discuss intellectual things and ideology of life. And that's all. Now, you can meet another person. There's another part of you that that person shares. It doesn't mean you should cut them short. Everyone is good to you. Everybody is unique to you based on what you share in common with them. Now, there is no other best way to define relationship based on that particular thing. So you cannot just throw out people like that. You keep people at times based on the parts that they share with you. Now, for example, if you are with people that they really don't share anything with you, like there's nothing this person, it doesn't mean you should, you should, you just have to build boundaries. There's a level to which you build boundaries with and you relate with them based on the boundaries that you've been able to build with them. Now, one of the reasons you build boundaries when it comes to defining relationship is not because they are bad people. It's not because they are worst people. It's because they are not helping you and you are not feeling comfortable being around them. Now, when you are not feeling comfortable being around them, don't make it seem like they are toxic. No, they are not toxic. 
It is you that need to check yourself and not them. Now, one of the reasons you need to check yourself is that why are you feeling uncomfortable being around them? Is there something that is missing? Is there something you are not doing? Now, if it is you that is not doing that thing, fine. Try and make up and do that thing. But if you are doing everything and it seems like, no, things are not working, and that means that you are not on the same page of life. So, because you are not on the same page of life does not mean you should hate them. It means that you just have to put them in the boundaries and the priorities which they belong in your life. It's simple. Now, that can look hard to you because you already, we have some people with temperament that always want to make peace with people. They always want to bond with people. They always want to be close to everybody. Now, you have to be the one to remind yourself in that temperament that you cannot be close to everybody. That is the truth. You cannot be close to everybody. You cannot be on the same page with everybody. And everybody cannot be on the same page with you. You just have to look for the people that belong to the same page with you and flow along with them. Flow along in understanding. Flow along in maturity. And flow along in how do I put agreement? Thank you very much. I love that word, agreement. Now, when you are able to be in the right circle with the right relationship, that's the only reason you can produce the right influence. If you are not with the right people, you cannot produce the right influence. In fact, everything you produce will be negative. Why? Because everything around you is not helping you, your hormones, to build things that are positive. But when you are with the right people, there is this way they help you become better. There is this way they help you see the best of yourself though they know you have weaknesses but they will encourage you to grow out of your weaknesses and not condemn you in your weaknesses those are the qualities of being with the right people and if you feel you are with the wrong people it is time you start working on yourself and defining your relationship if you want a better life as much as you feel that your relationship does not define you you are yourself that is very good but your relationship describe you those you follow describe your kind of person. So if you are following a particular people, they, they, if they see those people, they already define you that, okay, this is who you are. This is where you belong. That is more reason you have to be careful to define your relationship and be with the right people at the right time. Yeah. I hope with this little word I just shared about relationship, you'll be able to define your relationship and put people in the positions and places which they belong in your life. It's not... It's not a crime to set boundaries. If it's, it's not just for you, it is also for them too. So that you guys can live together in understanding and um, in, in harmony. I hope you've been able to enjoy this little piece of mine from Opa Life Therapy. We don't mind if you can get in touch with us. If you're having issues with keeping peace with people, or you have problems with harmony and the likes, you can contact us at gmail's remajesus1 at gmail.com. Don't forget to email us, tell us about how you feel, relationship around you. We'll be glad to be of help to you. Hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I love you. Thank you. Stay tuned for more.